Wait till you see this. A Savannah Burger Joint cooking up a whole lot more than burgers. It says it has video showing they have scared up a ghost. Yeah, B&D Burger says it has surveillance video to prove that its building is haunted. WJCL's Josh Caldwell joins us now with the story. What's up with this, Josh? Were you well, scared? Was I? Uh, we'll get to that. I was okay. a little scared, though. <laughs> but it seems as though most people have an opinion one way or the other about the existence of ghosts. Some people deny that they're real, while others swear by them. B&D Burgers on Congress Street, though, has a video to back up their claims. Check out this surveillance video from B&D Burgers on Congress Street in downtown Savannah. What seems to be a normal night at the bar suddenly appears to take a paranormal turn. I mean, we saw it on our surveillance video. Our manager, Josh Pear, saw it, and it caught his attention because he was sitting in the office, and he saw it, and he said, wait a minute, what's that? And then he started filming it with his phone on the surveillance video because he had no way to explain it. There is no way for us to explain it. If the orbiting light doesn't do it for you, check out the stack of cups at the top right-hand corner of your screen. And with no provocation, no wind, nobody walking by, no anything, the cups just fell over. We come downstairs, and instantly when I got the stairs, I was like, well, there's definitely something here, but it's more further back where the boxes that come off the shelf. You can feel it more there than anywhere because it's not as renovated, so the bricks are still exposed. Low Country Psychic Kelly Spurlock says the building that B&D Burgers is in was built in 1855, and she believes many of the spirits that inhabit it have been here since at least that time. One of the reasons it's on it is the residual energy. Everything that's happened here, good, bad, and indifferent, it's all still here. Marketing manager Gina Bilbo says even the most skeptic employees won't go down to the B&D basement alone anymore. A lot of the guys really don't want to go down there by themselves, and I personally don't ever go down to the basement by myself either. It's just a weird, overwhelming feeling of, ugh. It appears the basement isn't in need of visitors as it has plenty of action on its own. Now, B&D workers say there haven't been any negative or violent encounters yet, just creepy ones. B&D Burgers will be featured in several future ghost tours that run throughout Savannah. Low Country Psychic Kelly Spurlock says she believes the spirits are just seeking out attention, and that's why they're doing these random acts to be noticed. And Jennifer, to answer your question, being in the basement was a little creepy, so oh. I don't think I'd go down there by myself anymore. Were either. you crying for Mama? Uh, <laughs> Not that bad. No, I didn't get quite that far. Would but you it go, was. Would you go creepy, down there in the middle of the night, Josh? Was that like in the middle two of the, in the night? morning? You know, three. Well, I noticed the the barroom scene was around 7 p.m. and then the cups falling over was around 10:30 in the morning. So I don't know when they're more active. I might just stick around the lunchtime hours and see if I can miss them. Hopefully, it'll be a friendly ghost and they'll toss in a few more fries right. when nobody's uh, looking. That's right. A few <laughs> Caspers out there. That'll be good. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, be Josh. careful. Interesting. All right. Hopefully, Jeff will scare up some warm temperatures. We'll yeah, check with him when we come back. <laughs>